rocks that cause ripples. You know, one of the reasons we find it difficult to be positive is our focus on ourselves. A lot of times people focus on things that are always going wrong in their lives, forget to look around and see things that might actually be going right, especially around you. You know, most major world religions, they focus on good works as a means of attaining some kind of reward. And there's really something pretty big to that, good value and approach to life. When we focus on ourselves, we tend to magnify the problem in our mind and introspection can really lead to a lot of negative thinking. I'm guilty. When we compare our bad experiences with someone else's experiences, sometimes we can often find ourselves realizing that maybe our situation isn't so bad after all. And you know, we probably meet people every day with needs that are greater than our own without even realizing it. Say for example, maybe you're on a bus, the mother's sitting next to you and she's got a stroller, she's pushing a little child around, but she's really struggling with the stresses of parenting young children. Maybe it's the older guy sits out on his front porch just silently watching people pass by, really wishing that some of them would come and talk to him in his lonely and isolated world. How about the friend we have lunch with at work who gossips about things that a colleague from the office is doing or not doing? <laughs> you know, investing time in other people and their needs will change our perspective on things happening in our own world. Now, we can share our parenting skills with that younger mother, help her to deal with her world and realize that we do have something to offer people. And our retirement doesn't mean we're suddenly redundant. We can find relief from our own loneliness. Maybe by sharing a cup of coffee with that old man. Find ourselves thankful for the families that we have when we realize he doesn't have one. And we can deal with the negative effects of other words by, by really gently helping our gossiping friends understanding the negative effect that gossiping it has in our lives. It doesn't do anybody any good. You know, as we become the stone that ripples its influence into others' lives, we find things to like about in our own world and ourselves. When we hide ourselves in our homes and allow our negative thinking to rob us of our experiences, well, we miss the rewards that can, can and will be just boomeranging right back to you. So take time out today, go for a walk. Talk to someone at the market, maybe uh, go out and play with the kids. You know, you might be surprised the difference it makes in your day. I hope that I have in yours. So here's the deal. Let's flip the script on this regular life and live it out loud. Flip out, my friends.